Definitely lots to do. But we turn our attention now to a story developing overseas. Ignoring pleas and threats from the international community, North Korea has fired yet another ballistic missile today. The communist nation claims the test is its most significant yet. Leaders from the U.S., South Korea, and Japan are already speaking out. CBS 4's Hannah Daniels has the latest. Overnight, North Korea state run media claimed the country carried out its first successful test of an intercontinental ballistic missile, this one capable of hitting anywhere in the world. The land based missile was tracked by the U.S. Pacific Command for 37 minutes before it landed in the Sea of Japan. South Korea says it flew nearly 580 miles. President Trump took to Twitter to respond to the launch. He mocked North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, writing in part, does this guy have anything better to do with his life? Adding in another tweet, perhaps China will put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. Just last week, the president met with South Korea's president at the White House to discuss the recent activities of the communist nation. The era of strategic patience with the North Korean regime has failed. Many years and it's failed. And frankly, that patience is over. This is the latest in a string of recent missile tests for North Korea, including three in May. <laughs> Japan is calling the launch a clear violation of UN resolutions, saying it shows the North's threat has increased. Experts say the nation's latest test is an effort to develop a missile capable of reaching the United States. Anna Daniels, CBS News.